No, one of the things that I've always loved well, off and on was video games. Um, some people think they're weird, other people think they're life. I'm kind of in the middle. But one of the games that always, that always inspired me was The Legend of Zelda. The greatest game ever made, no matter how many times they make it, gets either better, maybe slightly worse, but it's always the greatest game ever. It's just the adventure, it's the boy hero. My closest friend as a child, his name was Willie Pullen. Uh, we met on the swim team, uh, eight years old. I don't know why we started talking to each other. It's just one of those things, your kids, you'll talk to anybody at a young age, I guess, or you'll just say hi. So we said hi. Um, I used to go hang out at his house and he introduced me to the Commodore 64 and my future uh, love of gaming, video games, and games in general. Uh, uh, Willie had an uncle who lived somewhere else and had black powder. And that's when I discovered at a young age uh, my love for fire, which I don't really have anymore. But I guess everybody has their thing that gets them in trouble uh, while they're younger. And mine was making uh, me, Willie, and his older brother, David, uh, making tennis ball bombs out of black powder and we put craters in the park and yeah lots of craters never got caught technically I mean uh, we had to run away many times but yeah we had a love for things going boom uh, never we weren't the type of kids who we, 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 we never destroyed property or anything like that we never put it in a house or anything like that it was always in football fields because we'd like to go see the kids play the next day and there'd be holes everywhere it was quite amusing but um yeah i don't know it's just a kid uh even though i grew up in a good neighborhood safe neighborhood kids still get bored and you gotta find something to do so we'd sneak out of the middle of the night and we'd go blow holes in the football field yeah everybody has their own thing oh and well another thing that me and link had in common oh, link the hero uh, is you never hear him speak, and even his creators of the game say he never will speak. And I guess that was kind of me. I'm not a big talker. I don't small talk. I'm not with the petty little chat. When I'm at the grocery store and I'm with a checkout person, I don't talk to them. I just say thank you, have a nice day. And that's always been me. Might not be a lot of words, but you'll get a lot of please and thank yous. And hope you have a nice day. The stutter stutter. Uh, yes, I still have the stutter, but it is very well concealed now. Um, as a child, I don't know if you're born with a stutter or if you develop a stutter. I don't think scientists have proven that yet. But uh, I had one. It had to do when, uh, around the time when your teachers it, uh, started asking you to give oral reports, and I wasn't that good at it. I guess I was very anxious, I was very nervous, and therefore, don't know how to explain it, but you just, you trip over, it's like tripping over your own words, and you kind of fall, and you can't get back up, you have to pace yourself up. When I speak, I take a lot of dramatic pauses, because usually, there might be, a, I, I guess, uh, you learn to prepare yourself. For, I already know what I'm going to say before I'm going to say it. I'm not as impulsive as some people. I'll just blurt things out. and I, 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 I rarely will say something that I regret because I've already prepared exactly what I'm going to say ahead of time. So I know what I'm going to say. I know the words. And as complicated as that might seem to some people, um, it's really not that hard. I don't know. If you just think ahead, you just, you're, you're always a few steps ahead of yourself. So you're kind of prepared for what you're going to say. Therefore, you can speak a little bit faster instead of speaking really slow. But I took a few speech classes. Um, pretty much, I had to relearn how to speak, speak in a more calm, uh, steady pace. Uh, I think that's why I talk to myself all the time, even when I'm alone. I'm still teaching myself how to speak. Uh, just kind of more of a pace issue, uh, learning not to care, learning no matter where you are not to be afraid. And it got, I guess it reached its height around 8th grade and I had to give a speech on the Bolsheviks. And for a person who stutters, that was probably the most terrifying experience of my entire life. Uh, I think a five minute uh, report turned into way more than five minutes. But 
I somehow got through it in many pieces. That was always the game for me. It was the fantasy. It was it was it was the magical world that I didn't live in. It was I guess a little way to escape. That was my my escape. Some people escape into books. Some people escape into movies. Some people escape into games in general. I escaped into Legend of Zelda. And something changed. I don't know. Years later, I guess I just it's one of those things. You get you tired. You get tired of the few kids who make fun of you or the other people who are the opposite and they care about everyone. Like, oh, you did okay. Now I can talk in front of crowds or whatever. I still stutter occasionally. When I mention it to people that I have a speech impediment, they don't notice it um, ever. But it comes out every once in a while. It'll, but I don't necessarily study anymore. I just more, I more, I less, I don't speak as much. I'm, I think I'm a quieter person because of it. It's easy not to stutter when you're not speaking. So I'm just careful with what I say. But it's always the greatest game ever. It's just the adventure. It's the boy hero. Not that I relate to it in any way. And I think I'm some kind of uh, superhero, well, non-superhero, just boy hero, whatever. I just, that's even through my depression, through my good years, through my bad years. It's always that game. It's always my favorite because it meant so much. It was just this epic world where things were different, but yet the, the 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 lone boy who no one seemed to care about could save the day in the end. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's not the person who don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to get that out.